remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Diddy received the Icon Award at Clive Davis's pre-Grammy party, and he gave an acceptance speech about black excellence. In that speech, he talked about how it was time for black people to start judging themselves. As you know, the Grammys recently got put on blast by their president and CEO, Deborah Dugan, who exposed the culture of sexism and racism. She talked about the nominating process where you have people doing favors for people who they have relationships with. There are people on the committee who may be representing an artist and they're standing in judgment of who gets nominated and who actually wins. So she also talked about how when it comes to the categories of awards, oftentimes when it comes to the biggest awards, that's song of the year and album of the year, it is seldom given to an R&B singer like Beyonce. I don't even know if you can really call Beyonce an R&B singer, but she says that award is usually given to pop, country and rock artist. Beyonce is a pop artist, but she's basically saying that hip hop artists and R&B artists, no matter how good they are, no matter how good the records are, they don't stand a chance. Now Mace saw Puffy's speech and he had a whole lot to say about it. He said that when he was 19 years old, Puffy gave him a contract for publishing. He signed away his publishing for $20,000. Now he wants it back. He tried to offer Puffy, he said, $2 million, and Puffy refused it. He said that Puffy told him that if you can match what these white boys are trying to give me, you can have them back. You can have your publishing back. What y'all think about that? Is is that is that fair? You know, Puffy said he won't market value for the publishing. In other news, Dave Chappelle worked the phone bank for Andrew Yang, and Dave Chappelle called this woman named Melissa and asked her was she and Andrew Yang supported her. She said, well, she gave an enthusiastic yes. He said, well, on a scale of one to Trump, <laughs> how much of a supporter would you, th would you say you are? And she said a one. So then he goes on to talk about how he's Dave Chappelle and all this stuff. Anyway, very, very funny moment. I think I want to do something like that, like run a phone bank, like like take some calls, like make some calls for, you know, at a phone bank. It don't have to be political. It could be anything. I just like to call people and be like, yo, need you give some money, you know, I need you to support this or that or whatever. I think that'd be cool. Now, I don't think that Dave is on the right team. Now, here's the deal. Hear me out. I think Andrew Yang is a good person. But good people don't usually win in these presidential elections. They just don't. I mean, look who's in office right now. Americans don't vote on who is a good person. They vote on who they think can win. And I don't think that Andrew Yang can win. Dave, that's my partner. That's my partner partner. But I think he's on the wrong team. I think Bernie Sanders is going to win that Democratic nomination. If anybody else has a chance, it might be Elizabeth 
Warren. It will not be Joe Biden. Ain't no way we about to let him get in. Absolutely no way. Not after what he did with that 94 crime bill. Uh-uh. No way possible. He ain't getting in. But who y'all think gonna win? I think that Dave is on the wrong team. But y'all need to check out the video, though. It's hilarious. I'll put a link in the description. But who do y'all think is going to become the Democratic nominee? Who do y'all think going to leave everybody else in the dust and emerge as the front runner to go up against Trump? And who do you think is going to win? Trump or whoever your guy is? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.